Hey guys, Rene Martin here. So today I want to present the series of skis uh, for my test of a progression in the history of the Telemark um, gear. I'm so glad I finally um, was able to um, set up all these skis for you guys and my series of the progression of Telemark gear throughout the years. And I have um, shown a video with the four boots I'm gonna use this season, uh, from a leather boot to a full on NTN uh, high plastic um, boot. Today I wanna present the skis and the combo that they're gonna provide. Um, so from uh, far this way to here is the evolution in time. All these skis are Talamark skis, Talamark setup, and whatever you have in this setup is great. I want to experience how these uh, combos, boot bindings, and skis are going to evolve into one different uh, package, how it's going to affect my technique, what conditions I'm, I'm going to be able to ski those, and if there are some limits I can't push further. So this is kind of my way of trying to something new, Telemark skiing, going back in time. Um, so the first one I have here is a 210 centimeter atomic skis. Uh, this is given to me by a friend. Found an old uh, Shealy binding. This is not like the typical binding you had in those days, but I didn't find any like uh, mouse trap uh, binding. I think this is gonna be great. It's still a cable binding with uh, a leather boot like this. Uh, my goal would be able to ski one day patrol skiing at my resort, as I said before. I also found in this same category, maybe an easier binding and ski. This is the actual ski I started my, uh, my Telemark days on. It's with a uh, Rotafella 412 binding. So this is a uh, front loading binding with springs at the back. Um, and yeah, regular cam camber uh, ski. I've skied those skis for like two years and they've been in the, uh, the bottom of a shed since then. So I was really happy to find them again at the friend's house um, this week. So those two are gonna go with the leather boot. Uh, next up, we have a Salomon Ski x cream mounted on a Voile plate uh, Rotafella binding. Uh, this is a classic uh, early, um, like mid nineties uh, setup. And uh, yeah, this is gonna go with my Veloce boot, Garmin Veloce. Um, and also I have moving a bit of activeness with the Rainy Super Loot. Uh, not a super popular binding in the days, but um, it kind of was the first binding to really step up the game. And uh, they had to have four screws on the ski because it would rip the binding. Uh, the, the boots, plastic boots, and the strength of this binding would create more tension than we'd ever seen before in those days. So the big bang from Rossignol was like the, the um, um, all-around ski in the, in the era. I've skied, this is my actual ski, I skied those for about five, six, seven years, I can't remember, but I've skied those for a long time, so their skis are pretty much dead. But for the experiment, with the x cream here, I think this is gonna be a fun setup. This is the one setup, those two skis and that boot that I'm the most excited to try. Um, just for the feeling that I got back in the day to where I am today. So, yeah. Moving on, I'm gonna use the Crispy XR. Although this is a brand new boot that you can buy today and it's super powerful. I think it was the 2000 era where you saw a lot of activeness uh, brought into bindings and I found whoop, <laughs> I found uh, hold and so I found a um, hammerhead from Tunita Design really the binding that's changed everything in my mind um, in those um, in that decade uh, so it's the compression um, spring instead of having some extension on the side uh, so it's the same as the Rainy Super Loop here in terms of you can't explode the, the springs if you put too much tension. And see now that you had to add six screws on the skis because it would just rip from skis. It was too much tension. Cable goes under 
the boot, and that creates that lever, that tension that we call activeness. Uh, what's also cool about this design is that we had different position uh, that we can have the, um, the cable under the foot go, and those positions would create more or less angle, more or less activeness. It was, uh, it was in the 22 design publicity, what position are you skiing in? Um, so yeah, so I we used to ski in position four, I think. I'm gonna try them all. Uh, fun ski, uh, this is my brother's ski, and uh, yeah, just a fun carver, I think, all around her. And then uh, 2010, uh, we saw the appearance of NTN binding. So this is my day-to-day -day boot. This is the crispy uh, Evo World Cup. And you can have it in, uh, this is my patrol ski. This is the Route 88 from Black Diamond, mounted on the Bishop BMFR. Um, so yeah, 88 millimeter wide, uh, quick edge to edge. Uh, best step-in binding the world has ever seen in my life, in my uh, mind. So yeah, this is gonna be uh, one of the skis I'm gonna ski this year full time. And the other one, uh, which I'm trying, uh, I've been trying all uh, the end of last season, is the 105 Elios with the Lynx binding uh, from 22 Design. Um, in this category, I have many more skis, but in this test, I wanted to have like a day-to-day uh, -day patrol ski and a day-to-day -day guiding ski. So this is this setup here. Um, so I'm gonna do an, uh, a series of videos, like four videos, one for each setup. Um, so 80s, 90s, 2000, and 2010 to today, the NTN system. Um, in that test, I wanna see the progression of the uh, equipment, how easy it is now today to ski Talmar compared to back in the days. I want to see also how you can uh, cheat uh, the technique and maybe it, the technique has become easier today. Maybe not, maybe I'm gonna find some, some things that I've lost in time. I'm really used to do those setups and I can't wait to see if going back into time, I will still be able, um, how my technique will be adapted to different boots and skis and binding. Um, and this idea really is that I often talk about how boots, binding, and skis come together into one experience. And a lot of people will ask me, well, how are those skis or how's those boots? But it really depends on the whole uh, trio of gear that you're choosing. So this is kind of my idea to try these on uh, this year. Uh, finally, just to say that all these skis are Talmark skis and they're all good options uh, depending on your style and where you're skiing. So I'm not judging people that are skiing older setups and yeah, just to see uh, how we can uh, evolve from there. So that's it for today. Until next time, this is Renny Martin. Cheers. To make it through the day. Hanging up in Targi. There's so much snow I can't see when I ski. What else can go wrong? TGR dropping in like it always been.